10 o'clock, so I'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. This is a regular commissioner's court meeting for the County of Star, Monday, May 11th. Uh, let the record show that we do have quorum, everyone being present. If everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any public comments? None, Your Honor. Do we have a minute? Yes, sir. That's right in front of your. your oh, okay. Um, I move that we approve the minutes of the Second, Your Honor. Moved and second to approve minutes. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, Mr. Pettis on the, the vendors list. Yes, sir. Uh, new vendor list. We've got one new vendor. Uh, we reviewed that and we recommend that it be approved. No second the motion. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The next thing is uh, bills. Mr. Yeah, claims. Uh, you have that in front of you. Again, we have reviewed the claims and we recommend that they be approved. Motion to approve, Your Second motion. Moved and second to approve. Discussions? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The reports, they were uh, sent to us, so in order to keep the number of people down to 10, uh, they won't be here to present, but if you all have any questions, uh, we can call the department heads and we'll get some explanation. No problem. Moving on, um, we have a presentation by Joanna Aiken Zero Mass Water and Source Hydro Panels. That's that's a handout that you have uh, in front of you. They're going to do a telephone presentation. Uh, if you want, we can do it now, or if you want to wait till the end. Quite early. You want to do it now? Yes, but okay. Would make 
about a case of bottled water a day, about a 24 pack of 12 ounce bottles per day per home. Uh, and then on a larger scale, we can add more and more hydro panels like you see in that third picture to produce a much larger amount of water for what we refer to as a, a water farm, very similar to what you may have seen as a solar farm. Um, and so on the fourth slide there, as you see, the solution as it relates to the colonias and other remote areas that we work within the U.S. and throughout the world, um, the technology is beneficial for many reasons, one being that it is local and the water being produced is right there within the county or within the colonia, and so it allows for that local ownership of water as well as the transparency. So there is a uh, shift inside each of the hydro panels that allows our network operations center to monitor the panels real time. And so what that means is it's an unprecedented level of transparency. We know exactly what the water quality looks like, exactly what the water production looks like at any given time. And we can provide that level of monitoring and um, data as well. And so we know that it is a very high quality water. It's pure water from the start. There was no concerns with it ever being contaminated and having uh, needs to go through some filtration process. It is pure water from the start. Uh, and it is resilient. So in the face of drought and other supply issues, the water is still being produced every single day. Um, so there is that consistent, reliable supply. Um, and, and finally, it's cost effective. So what we've seen throughout the colonias is it is dramatically cheaper than a traditional infrastructure development project for places that don't have the, the water service or the connection lines. This allows for an immediate solution, but also a more cost-effective solution as well. Um, so going on to the next slide, just to quickly highlight that amidst everything going on with COVID-19, we've seen more of an importance of clean water access in some of these areas that lack the water access are now more than ever disadvantaged as it relates to not only their sanitation abilities, but also the supply of the needed drinking water and the, the lack of supply paired with lack of um, water delivery services such as water trucking and uh, people that are unable to go out and purchase bottled water and water haul. So the next five years, just an example of a nearby county that we worked with, West County, um, outside of Laredo, and two colonias within West County, one being fixed care of pizza and another being La Presa, that both lack the proper water service there. And so we've worked with them to install some hydro panels at their community centers, and people within the colonia are now able to come and fill up. So drinking water, and we've done an initial demonstration about a year ago, and now we have a much larger project plan through some of our funding relationships that I'll talk about here in a second uh, to provide water for the entire colonia. So with a population of about 1,500 people in Tixaracita and about 500 in La Presa. Um, so you'll see here, this is what I really wanted to talk about, is San Isidro um, within Star County. And the area that's been identified as having water access challenges in a low to moderate income area. Um, and so the population that I've understood is about 700 people or close to about 200 homes without water service. So many that are on um, private wells now have mentioned that through testing, they have consistent high levels of contamination and they're still not drinking that water. Um, and so what I wanted to discuss is the solution for San Pedro to have these hydro panels installed. What we hope to do is install two hydro panels per home, which again would provide about a 24 pack of 12 ounce bottles of water a day, and would provide for all of the potable water needs of the household. And the way that we see it have to do this on the very last slide here is through two different grant funding partnerships that we have. One of those being with USDA Rural Development, and the other one being with Texas Department of Agriculture. So both of these programs prioritize first-time access to drinking water within the colonias. Um, there's the Section 306 program within USDARD, and then the Colonia Planning and Construction Fund through the CDBG block grants within the TDA. Um, the USDARD funding has a larger funding pool, whereas the TDA funds up to 500 k per colonia. Um, so both of these are prioritizing first-time water access, and they're typically prioritizing financially distressed communities um, or those that qualify as low to moderate income. And so what we have done with other counties is work to be the sponsor for the application, and the county 
Yes, ma'am. This is certainly very interesting, and you know, I had never heard anything like this before, so it is quite interesting. The only questions I have, uh, when you when you say that it can produce a 24 pack of 12 ounce bottles, uh, does yes. does it matter how arid our uh, community is? It does a little bit, um, and so those figures are based off of your location there. Okay. So the more humid, uh, the more humid the location, the more water production we'll get. So basically, the the average in, uh, in your area is about the 24 pack of 12 ounce bottles, and so because it uses sunlight and not just humidity, it's actually able to effectively produce water in very dry climates as well. For instance, we're headquartered in Phoenix, Arizona, in the desert, and we still get a good amount of water there. Um, and then what we would do in very, very low, uh, very dry climates, we would just add additional panels to account for the water that's needed. Okay, now the other question is, once this water is produced, do we need a storage, or, or the landowners, do they need storage to keep the water? Or is that within the same panel? That's a great question. There, the storage tank is within the panel itself. So each hydro panel has an internal reservoir built in. And so there's plenty of storage. There'll be a 60 liter storage per household. And so it allows for, if, say, a family goes out of town, or if there's days where there's a lot of water produced but not being consumed, there'll be that excess supply. Um, so it'll be built up, and, and there's a, you know, 50 liters within that reservoir capacity. Any other questions? No, the cost, uh, Joanne, this is Commissioner Science. The cost to install those hydro panels on a residential, what are we talking about? How much money? So each hydro panel is $2,000. So what we're talking about for each home would be $4,000 for two hydro panels plus the installation and the shipping. So what we see, if we're doing this at scale through a whole community, we anticipate it being about $5,500 per home. Um, and that provides the water for the whole life of the technology. So you're talking about getting water for 15 years, that's including the cost of the water, uh, as well as the technology, and then typically we provide a service package as well, so that there's no unforeseen cost as it associates with operations and maintenance. But our maintenance is very low. It's just a, an annual filter change that we have our, our service providers go and do. And another benefit of the program that I just mentioned is we usually will train a local company to do the operations and maintenance and even the installation. So it adds to a level of local economic um, opportunity as well with local employment. So we typically will try to find at least one or two contracting companies in the area that we can train to do this, and then we would we would contract with them um, to the county, and so that would you know add that layer of local jobs as well. Okay, what what's the life expectancy of the panels? So right now, they're guaranteed 15 years hydro panel technology, and then we've done extensive accelerated life testing, and we have proven that after 15 years, the panels won't stop working, but there'll probably be some internal parts that need to be replaced to maintain that and, and likely extend beyond the 15 years. But right now, we're able to guarantee the 15 years. You mentioned grant funds. I'm sorry. You mentioned grant funds. Yes. Uh, yeah. The two funding agencies that you mentioned were TDA and USDA, uh, and USDA right? Yes. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, uh, certainly very informative. We'll we'll get together with Mr. Science and Commissioner Science and and our uh, Federal State Programs Department and, and see what we can come up with. That would be helpful, and I guess it would be helpful to know at this point, too, what the typical procurement process looks like. I think what I've understood is there's almost a pre-procurement process before the grant application goes in to be technically procured by the county, and then the application would go in if we did decide to do that. Is that correct? I would think so, yes. Now, what happens if okay. 
some of the landowners don't want it. Are they forced to take it? Si sale for, for two, me sale about thirty dollars. Si metemos, si porque era fifty five times two, estás hablando de once mil dólares. We divide that by fifteen, y hay más. No, I'm not probably wrong a little bit, pero hay van dar como unos three hundred bucks cada uno. Todo el máximo que hay no es para que salga su bolsillo. ¿Mande? El máximo que hay no es para que salga su bolsillo. Es decir, porque cada uno quiere meter dos por casa. Puedes poner mil. Si el sanitario es donde más se necesita aquí en el área. No, no, pero no, que no está diciendo que que es el que quiere aplicar para el grant de eso de. Ya. Para el proyecto. Para el servicio de tipo. Sí, es como aplicar para un sewer plant o lo que sea. Como lo mencionó Rubén, que aquí tenemos un running water y ya no tiene. Y para meter el agua para allá, pues, nos sale más caro que lo que vale esto. Muy bien, Brian, y Darwin Cameron también nos quiere pegar el 
al aquifer. Si sale, sale, si sale Grant y no creo que sea mucho para usted en el. No creo que nos cueste mucho el, el, que lo que tengamos que pagar. No, y for first time water users, que that would be San Isidro, there's, there's money available. Yeah. Well, okay, did somebody ever try to make an estimate how much we cost to run a water line all the way up there? Yeah, when I was, when I was telling you. I was telling you, I was telling you, I was telling you, I was When, when I was still doing engineering, we went and gave a presentation in San Isidro for a water treatment plant. Porque es verdad, the, the wells, all of them have California. Tiene contaminación de Yeah, because hacen un cesspool y luego enseguida hacen la noria. O puntos para basura, enseguida la noria. So the, it does have a lot of contamination. So, pero cuando fuimos, por eso pregunté si no quieren, mucha gente no lo quería. No, no, no por, porque decían, oye, si yo estaba tomando agua, mi abuelo tomó 100 años. Y, ya no tienen dientes, pero... Y mi abuelo, <laughs> yeah, so, so they didn't, they didn't want the, the expense. Uh, so, you know, we never did anything. Pero que lo necesitan, sí lo necesitan. Oye, pero no más para tomar. Esta manera es más para tomar. ¿Cuántos? ¿Cómo te vas a tomar? Y hay running water hasta donde Humberto está. Hasta las islas tienen agua el sábado ustedes. Sí, no, nosotros no. Tú no eres un perro. Llega a 2676, llega hasta ahí donde está Rumunfo González y eso. Ahí llega nomás. That's it. That's the first it goes. ¿Cómo es de ahí? Es que no nomás la línea. No está tan lejos. Hay que meter boosters. De ahí a la gloria van a ser como unos 7 mil, ¿no? Sí, lo que pasa es que el sábado no tiene water treatment plant. No, es de Río Grande. 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 Yeah, so they have to buy, you need the storage, you need... You were talking about 200 houses, right? Yeah, and the other thing is that if all the 200 houses were together, it's okay. But one is here, 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 one is here. So the cost of... When the price is not bad, for $400 per year, if we get an average, it's good. For every one. <laughs> but really, really, it, it, it'd be no matter for drinking because the water that they get there, it, it's good for the water. But it's just for the drink. Well, 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 the best you can hope for is about a 75% price. Well, if 75% is good, it's like... Yeah, if you can put it at 25%, it's also better. Which, in a million dollars, it would be $250,000. But if you have $200,000, how much is it? $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1,000,000. $1
and, and I'll try and hit on some of the things that, that um, the governor says that the face masks are, are not required. However, he says they're highly recommended. And, and that's what we're saying. Uh, masks are highly recommended. Uh, it's not mandatory. It's not mandatory. Si alguien anda, no puede montarlo. You can do anything. But, but the, uh, the prerogative of the business is not they're going to trap. Yeah, and, and yes, and, and thank God, most of the businesses here in Stark County have asked that if their customers not trying uh, a face covering, they're reducing they can avoid it. Yeah. So that, that's helping out a lot. <coughs> and, uh, you want to try Can you call the, for some water? What? Oh, they didn't bring water? No. Uh, the social distancing, también. Uh, you know, we must keep the, the distancing now. The one thing that he didn't re make reference, but we went ahead and included it, uh, because he didn't say he couldn't, is uh, on the 10 or more to a group. Si alguien tiene una pachanga, un party en la casa, and it's more than 10, the sheriff can go in there and find him, or the, or the city PDs. We need to keep people away from each other. You know, ya lo que pasó en Roma last week. One young man had it. Toda la familia. Toda la familia. Yeah, and, uh, yes, sir. And yo creo que fue en Nueva York. One guy had it. He went to the clubs. Forty-three people got it that, that night. So, you know, they need to stay at home as much as possible. Uh, so we did keep the, the groups to no more than 10. Uh, yet I know I saw on Mother's Day, on the Kira Via parties. No, in Easter también. See, that, that, that doesn't help us at all. So we kept that. Uh, no, uh, now, if it's from the same household, si todos viven en una casa, y son 15, then it's not a problem. Because uh, they have contact every day. Pero other than that, they, no more than 10 people. They can be fine. Uh, the other thing que... Pero si el fine viene y te lo quita el gobernador y el Supremo Corte como dijeron acá, Yeah, and, and, and I took, you know, I, I didn't think that was right. Especially when... Se recordó una hora. Our senator, Ted Cruz, sale y dice... Parece que es mujer, Carlos. ¿Mande? Parece que es mujer, Carlos. Sí, que, que está bien mal y que todo el mundo... Fue la orden que pasaron ellos. They passed it. Law enforcement was only enforcing it. Le apretó Patrick a Edward y se rajó. Yeah. But anyhow, that's another issue. Yeah, it's politics. And uh, now they did open uh, the salons, the beauty salons, the nail, nail salons, the barber shops, and so on. However, we implemented in the order que si tienes por decir uh, three beauticians, you can only have three customers in, in the place of business at one time. The others have to remain in their vehicles or outside. And after they leave, they need to sanitize todo and then they can come in. The governor, he said, you can open, but no le dice what requirements. So that's where, where we came in now. Everything is still at 25% occupancy. So si alguien tiene un restaurant, whatever, uh, wedding chapel, you know, 25% of the capacity is all they can have. 25%. Yeah, and uh, starting... Including the churches? The churches también, 25%, and uh, on the religious establishments, they need to leave un pew que haya gente y otro no. Uno sí y uno no. Y luego, si, if you go with your family, you all can all sit together. But no, yo, yo, I need to leave six feet between yeah. where I sit and your family. So, you know, it's got, it's got a lot of uh, restrictions. Uh, starting uh, on the 18th, because next Monday, the adult daycares and the children's daycares will be open. Uh, adult también? Si. Uh, the adults, uh, también 25% occupancy, the, in the vans 25% occupancy. They need to take the temperatures of, of the people that are going before they get on the vans, and once they're inside the so we can start opening the the center for the center of the middle. At twenty five percent capacity. Ah well okay, but so so in our case is it our option to open or not open? No, you don't have to, you know. The the governor says you may open. 
But you don't like it. Oh, yeah. Uh, most part, they're not going to go. Some of them yeah. won't go. Oh, yeah. Hey, ¿Cuándo comienza eso? El next Monday. El 18. Okay. Let me ask you yeah. something. Because we, we've been uh, debating on that. Do the senior citizens have to come in and wear a mask as soon as, as all the time they're in the, in the center? Yeah. And that's going to be a problem. Porque a lot of them have trouble breathing. Pues es, es, es lo que para allá estamos. Yeah. Para las cocineras y eso. También. Está, pero, and we have been discussing that. Porque este, you know, para tener una máscara y estar cocinando el humo y todo, pues no puede resolver. So, you know. Yeah. The only way is, if, if well, Especially with the elderly, you know, you need to be very, very careful. When they sit down to eat, they need to be six feet apart. Frankie, yo no pudiera ir a yo no Que los restaurantes, you go in there, you have to wear a face mask cuando entras adentro. Ya que entras adentro, te, te sientas a comer, te lo quitas. Yeah. Si te levantas de ahí para ir al baño o algo, you have to wear a mask. That is correct. So. Yeah. Yeah, it, and the mask really no es tanto para, for us, es to protect the other people. Te, te entiendo, yo sé lo que te estoy diciendo yo, pero. <laughs> is this, is, I mean, it's going to be hard to make a decision. Porque uh, yo le dije que uh, comenzando mañana que, o a la medida que fueran a darles la comida, que si llegáramos a abrir y si acaso queda requisito que tuviera la máscara puesta de tomar para comer, o, y cuando la llegas a la mañana se toma el café. Estamos hablando que si le damos a almorzar, cuando nos almuerza toma el café y hace. Me dio una media hora o una hora sin tener la máscara. ¿Cuál es el buen amigo que se pone la máscara? Para cuando ahora pone es otra hora. Hora y feria, sin máscara también son. Pero tú tienes el centro abierto, pero te No, no lo tengo, yo estoy dando comida. Yo tengo capacity al 25% para tener 65 people, 62 people. El 25%. Pero es como te estoy diciendo, estamos hablando, yo lo más motivado es la máscara, porque los viejitos van a pillar. Pero en la mañana llega, te estás la tomando cabrera. una taza de café, pues vas a estar con la máscara quitada. Que al mujer se que quiera tu traje con la máscara quitada. Bueno, ya acabaron, ponle, se ponen a jugar el bingo y lo que sea. Cuando viene la comida, es otra hora sin máscara, o más. You, es como digo, you do not have to, to open if you don't want. La, la, la máscara, the face covering, especially on, on the elderly, es que before they thought que the droplets, you know, when you sneeze or you cough, se iba y pues se caiba. Yeah. Now, they said no, they can stay in the air for an hour or two. So if you don't have the mask and you breathe it, it's come out, you would have had contact. Unless I'm forced to open it, I'm going to go. Eight months que me quedan, yeah. I'm going to continue feeding people at the house. For, for the elderly, yeah. it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's very, yeah. very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Cameron County, no. Cameron County. As a matter of fact, I already reduced staff to do that for the rest of the year. Yo tengo, para que viene, tengo uno de 5, 30. Pero si voy a abrir y nomás 5, 6 van a abrir. Es que me sirve, no me conviene. Ya, y los, los centros uh, de, 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 for pay, ellos también, they, they say, we, we've been having virtual meetings uh, cada rato con ellos. And, and they have the same concerns. They say, as it is, before they were shut down, they say, yeah, they had about maybe 40 percent, because the little ones had fear, or the little ones didn't want to leave. Right. So now, with all this, especially what was in Cameron County, that <coughs> over 50 percent of the cases that they've had in Cameron son County, some of those, some of those retama, the, and and almost 60, 65 percent, what was it, the los muertos han sido ese grupo. Yeah. So it's very dangerous for for that age group. So, what do you recommend that we don't open? I think so, Commissioner. It would be best. What are you going to have to do? If you have to have 5 or 6, it doesn't convey. Yes, sir. It's very daring. Yes. You know. Let me see. If you open up, and I'm not trying to scare anyone. If you open up and one gets it, everything goes shut down. I'm not going to say no. Yeah, everything will shut down. 
y Dios no libre que se muera. ¿Qué Como los que no tienen que en punto de vida. They must wear a mask. They, they, they must they sanitize. Wear, well, yeah, the temperature. When when it deals working with elderly, you need to take a temperature every day to make sure que no traigan canicu. Tanto the employee como el. Y no tenemos más. Ahora todavía que estamos en eso, yo le planteé a Rose. Rose couldn't answer. El día que fui yo para el doctor, the day before the operation, este. La ciudad de Temperature estaba 90.1, Y le pregunto yo a ella, ¿cuál es el normal temperature? Y dice, que cuando un shark, digo, people over uh, 65 and over, es 99.1 o 99.7, es diferente a la... A los jóvenes. A los jóvenes. Nomás que lo digo que no pude llegar aquí, pero ahí me dijo el... el, el Entonces el también iba a ser menos. De enfermera, ¿eh? Sí, porque ya, el señor de grande de alrededor también está para ver. Ya está jodido, está jodido. Ya está sondeado. Sube la temperatura. Está saliendo sondeadita. Do we have enough sanitizing stuff for cleaning the courthouse? Because I know I've been doing first. The Office of Court Administration already sent us a letter where we're going to have to start having court again. Small numbers. We have the disinfectants. Uh, we still have bottles of those. After when? After June 1st, Madam Gonzaga will us more this slowly. Yeah. And I've been in contact with Judge Rodriguez's office so we can kind of coordinate that. Yeah, that's what we have to do. See, we have that. What we haven't been able to get are the uh, laser thermometers. I just ordered one at Walmart. I just ordered one at Walmart. I just ordered one at Walmart. Yo compré uno ahí, en Best, en Best Buy lo compré. ¿En Best Buy? Vale, sí, costaba 8 dólares. I ordered one at Walmart for 60 some dollars. I've been ordering it. Well, I, well we, ordered we ordered, but Judge. I think every center should have one. They, hmm? they did, they, they don't have them anymore. After over a month, they were ordered at the beginning of April 2nd. Have we paid for that? Yes. But we need to get reimbursed. They did. They refunded. ¿Cuándo está el momento? Sí. Huh. Well, maybe let's, let's try Best Buy. The swimming pools are now open. También at 25% capacity. Those are still in little parks, but at 25% capacity. I had one person that called. Que el capacity del pool de ellos era 300. Dije, ni parados adentro del pool. Es verdad. I mean, they, they try to work. All kinds of stuff there. Uh, let's see, what, what else is a major change? Pero además todo es pretty much remains the same. Como digo, uh, Rose, Rose did this, and, and I think she did one hell of a job incorporating todo esto into hours. Now, everywhere there's a blue thing, you can key into that, and, and it takes you to the specifics de cada cosa. Monday? This, Based this, on this and what I'm seeing, I don't think it's worth it opening up. No. I don't think it's the way. The risk is too high for the people. It's, uh, it's really for their own safety. <laughs> Those are the orders, and the I mean, put them. Well, I think there's no here that I don't know. The nutrition program, they have the authority to go to one of those establishments you get. Yeah. There's a lot of things in here that I don't agree with. We'll see. Pero, pues son orden del gobernador. Sí, I mean, I have no choice but to do it. So, anyhow, that's this is the order. Uh, 
It's not written in stone. Si mañana pasado ven algo ustedes que dice, pues esto no me parece, we need to change it. Oh, no, que le, estoy bien, como es que. That's a very good question, and that's one of the things I disagree with. I disagree with the governor. The governor dice que if an employee feels he's in danger, he does not have to go work. Even if he brings a doctor's excuse, because como este que tengo yo salió negative for coronavirus. Negative. Yeah. But we tried that. 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 We tried We tried that. We tried that. We tried that. We tried that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to be exactly. I think to discuss, I got something to discuss on that matter. Okay. A lot of people have taken advantage of yes. this. I, I, I think it's not it's, right. This employee is taking advantage of the system. Huh? Yeah. 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 So, anyhow, uh, this is the order. You know, I need uh, for you all to approve it or not. You know, to move on. Second motion to approve. The second motion. Motion and second to approve. Discussion. All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Um, okay, the investment report by Mr. Gonzalez, it's in your packet. I guess if you have any questions. No. Hmm? See, but I think we need a motion to approve it. Yeah, yeah. I move the way for you. I'm pretty sure that any problem he would have told Yeah. He was out there this morning. Yeah. I have a motion and a second to approve discussion. All in favor, please. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 11 is to approve a proclamation designing, uh, designating April as Fair Housing Month. Motion to approve, Your Honor. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Right. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 12 is to approve the notice of election for the primary runoff election. ¿Qué runoff hay? El estado. Uno. El estado? Un runoff hay. El estado, ¿verdad? Yeah. Motion to approve, yeah. Second motion. Yeah. Moved and second. All in favor, please aye. Aye. Motion carries. Mm -hmm. Item 13 mm -hmm. is to consolidate precincts for the primary runoff election uh, for early vote, election and early vote. It, there's only one runoff race, it's in the state. I don't anticipate that we're gonna have lines or anything like that. So what we're trying to do is consolidate so we don't have the- Only one area? The courthouse mother? Well, election, it has to be in- uh, yeah. yeah. On all 10 precincts, election Yeah. All 10? I yeah. believe so. You know what? It, it, it might be right. Uh, it, general election is when you need to have it everywhere. And the runoff don't take a start. It's only because in a general election. Yeah. In November. Because when they do the runoff, they say run it south. In the election day, we're going to open four, guys. Can you get John on the line? Community Center, La Rosita, and El Cerito. Election Day. Election Day, is lo que dice aquí. That makes sense. Election Day, yeah. Nomás cuatro para avanzar. The early voting. The early vote, dice Nomás la Courthouse. Nomás la Courthouse, the early vote, and Election Day, cuatro. Cuatro, right. Así lo hiciste en el 2016. Yeah. So, need a motion? Motion to approve your motion. Let me, let me. Just clarify. Well, no, I have a problem. That's somebody to worry about. That's all right. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, all in favor, please. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 14 is a donation to the uh, food pantry prison <laughs> board <laughs> for $150. Dollars. Move to approve. <laughs> Move and second to approve. Uh, all in favor, please. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 15 is to accept the refund check from Hope Cat. 
in the amount of 581.95 to Commissioner Percy Moore. Move to approve. Move and second. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 16. Through 33. Our budget amendments. Are those in order? Those are all within their uh, budget, and uh, they're in order. We recommend they be approved. Motion to approve, yeah. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? <coughs> Mount Fair for the aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Okay. And it is 1050, and pursuant to section 551.074. We're going to executive session to discuss order of salaries, the ASO billing claim, uh, HR personnel to perform future quarterly pre-hire random and incident report drug screening, and for employee safety equipment program. We'll be back up. Okay, it's uh, 11 25 and we're back in open session. Under order of salaries, is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve, Second and motion. As presented? As presented. Moved and second. Discussion? One fair please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. The ASO, which is information, so no action needed on that. Uh, under the, uh, the drug screening, we're going to go in house, Your Honor, on that one. I don't think there's a uh, motion to approve or anything. No, there's no motion. Well, I guess we need well, a motion. Is there a purpose to discuss to obtain possible training for HR personnel to prepare okay. future? Yeah, okay. We'll go ahead and do a motion on that one. So I'm going to make a motion to approve training for uh, HR personnel to go ahead and get certified. Second and motion. Move and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries, and item 37, uh, I guess uh, we'll be receiving the list, the commissioners, yes. uh, of the equipment that is available and prices, and you all determine you know, what it is that you, you need. So no actions needed on that. No. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. 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 Motion to adjourn.